books teach us. They inspire us. They challenge us, and they expand our horizons. Books contain the best thoughts of the greatest minds in history, but the problem is there are millions to choose from. So what should you invest your time reading? What should you spend your money on? How do you sort through all the bullshit and find the good shit? You let the superior men do the work. Matt and Jay take the best books, pick the most important points, and distill them down to a concentrated 30-minute podcast. We help you find the books you need to read and why you need to read them. You may even learn something. So take out your coffee, tea, a glass of wine, or a good IPA. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome to the Superior Men Bookcast. And welcome to the Superior Men Bookcast. I am your host, Jay, here with my fellow host, Mr. Matthew. Good day. Good day, sir. Good day to you, Jay. And good day to you, sir. Good day to all of you who are listening. Today, you guys and girls are in for a treat. We are discussing the book Fitness Confidential, Adventures in the Weight Loss Game by the one and only Vinny Tortorich and his uh, and his writing partner, Dean Laurie. Uh, this is a incredible book if you like books. Yeah, if you like books, it's a great book. It's <laughs> it's it's for a health book. I mean, you see, fitness is the first word in it, so you think, okay, this is obviously a, it's not going to be enjoyable <laughs> right, <laughs> right off the bat, and you'd be wrong. You'd be so very wrong. This is one of the one of the most interesting and entertaining and enjoyable to read books uh, probably out there in the field of fitness. Like just of, of all the books that are out there, this is probably one of the most enjoyable to read. I, I 100% agree with you. It, it totally is, especially mostly, mostly the fitness books are sort of dry. Um, and this, this is far from dry. Oh my goodness. Uh, so there's so, I mean, we'll, we'll kind of get into some of the stories that he discusses, um, as we get a little bit further on in here, but the main thing is it really is a fitness book. Like this guy is in spectacular shape. Um, even now, what is he, what is he closing on 60? Yeah. That's what I was just going to look at. Um, uh, I I'm he's 50 plus for sure. Still has a six pack. He's, he's been in, in amazing shape for years and he's a Hollywood personal trainer um, and so that's about as high a challenge, a high a bar as you can get when it comes to, uh, are you a good trainer or not? Because Hollywood's, you got to have the best bodies in the world. Like, are you, so <laughs> at, at one point he talks about like losing 30 pounds for this girl that, that the Hollywood's exec brought him in. We're like, we need to have this girl lose 30 pounds. He does it. And then they're bringing, they bring him back. They're like, okay, so she's lost the weight. That's great. But her face is still fat. Can you can you help her lose some of that? Um, well, oh, yeah. by the way, he's fifty fifty seven. He just had a birthday, uh, September twenty seventh. So he's fifty seven right now. Oh man, and he is in is in great shape. We'll we'll discuss his his new documentary. And he on he looks he looks like he could go out and just just do a, a long distance run right now, just right out of the chair in in the documentary that he's doing. Um, this book, Matt. Uh, what is what is he kind of the purpose of the book for this particular one other than just being amazing and entertaining uh so really it's just going about talking about how he did things and just a very simple thing that he came up with which is uh nsng no sugar no grain he he kind of came up with that um little slogan or tagline and it's uh it's really nice because again it's really simple to remember no sugar no grain so if you do that, you're gonna overall be be pretty help or be pretty healthy, and that's that's what he really talks about. Um, that's the fitness aspect. Then the um, then the other part of the book are sort of personal stories with uh, with him. Like I said, we'll we'll get through we'll get through uh, a lot of that. But you know what's funny is uh, you know we we kind of look at who's this book for. Um, you know, talk about uh, real quick, Jay. Who's going to benefit uh, from this book? Um, I would say these these are the people who who will benefit. Uh, if you're a fat couch potato, this yeah. book is for you. 
um, even if you don't get off of the off of the couch, which you will by the time you finish this book, uh, as you're sitting there like eating potato chips, like you'll still enjoy reading it. It's it's totally entertaining for for couch potatoes. Um, if you're ready to, for a system of weight loss that actually works uh, long term, because it's not a diet. That's a big thing he talks about this concept of diet. It's like up until fairly recently that just meant what you ate and now he's like okay so if you start eating this nsng like you'll lose weight uh, it's also for people who love obviously entertaining stories if you want to train for an ultra distance event there's a little bit of uh, details in there and if you're italian you'll probably really enjoy this because yep. uh <laughs> well because he's italian he uh, is, he's definitely italian and, it won't benefit and, yeah who's not going to uh if you don't like honesty some some naughty language um, you know, there, there's going to be that, uh, if you don't like the Rocky movies, you're not going to like it. Uh, if you're a vegan, probably also not going to like this book. Oh, that's, yep. That's yeah. very true. The vegans yeah. are probably, they probably are lobbying against this book right now. As well, we well they, they are. Well, so the other thing too, is this book, very easy to read, great stories. It's easy to pick up, put down, like, although it's, it's actually harder to put it down than it is to, to, uh, than to pick it up. It's only, you know, 250 pages. The audiobook is 7 hours with many other rants by Vinny Tortorich. It's this is one of the ones where I recommend getting both the, you know, the print version to study, the audio version to be entertained. So I I would definitely recommend that. Let's talk about um, you know, overall how's this book? Uh what are what are some of the reviews on this book? What uh where are we at on that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty well known actually for within that feet, within the field of, of health and fitness, uh, is it top, top 100 audible for health and fitness, um, eight number, number 84 for that. And there's a, if you want a big category of books, <laughs> look, up right. and fit, look up health and fitness. So to be in the, in the top 100 is really impressive. Um, the, the print version has, a Fifth, over 1500 four and a half star reviews on amazon a lot of people really enjoy it and uh, for for good reason right. um it's it's one of those books that like you read it and then you give it to somebody else which is how i got the book you <laughs> you read it and you're like jay you gotta read this book yeah i'm like i don't really need to read another I, fitness book i think like, i gave I re- you i gave you the physical copy right you I, did I, I you did so, yeah. you did you're like you brought it over, and you're like, "Here, read this." I'm like, "Hi." Uh, by by I the mean, way, just as a sh- side note for everybody else too, he also lost the physical copy, and then I just bought him another e copy of the book, so he he would have that as well. So I I lost the e copy also. <laughs> Yo, um, I, I gotta send so that I, again. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I may have I may have lost that. I've I have so many books on my bookshelf, and then I moved, um, and I went through, and I'm like. Oh, this is so sad. I love this book. This is actually one of my, one of the books I really do enjoy. And I, I if I'm not mistaken, I uh, I loaned it to somebody else because that's yep. what you do with this book. Yep. And it and it you know it's just like if you have fat friends, give them this book. They'll be like, ah, you're saying something, right? You're saying that I'm a little bit overweight, and then they'll read it and they'll be like, okay, actually, thank you. <laughs> um, no, it's true. It's good just because it's 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 very easy. So, I, so and you know what's funny is like I heard about this. I heard about Vinnie Tortorich. I heard about this book, but I heard of, about Vinnie Tortorich on uh, the Adam Carolla show somewhere right around in September of 2015. Could have been the beginning of October, uh, but uh, he was on the Adam and Drew podcast, and um, I remember like both of them just sort of thinking he was kind of a quack. Because really, he was talking about like, no, you eat fat, you don't eat lots of grain, uh, and you don't eat sugar. And then it's like, mind blown. Um, <laughs> for, and, and I mean, he's been one who's sort of brought this in in sort of a mainstream, at least to Adam Carolla's audience, which is a pretty significant audience. So, um, you know, that's that's how I, I so I heard about him. I was like, wow, this guy's interesting. And then I started listening to his podcast, um, and then bought his book and listen, listened to his book and read his book. So, so now n- you got me curious here, Matt. Which came first for you? Was it Tobbs or was it Tortorich? Ooh, um, that's a... we're, we're we're referring to Gary I... Tobbs, uh, the good calories, bad calories, or why we get fat, what to do about it. That I that, actually that, th- that Tobbs thing. I believe. 
Ah, I don't know. I don't know. There, there were similar time frame, probably within six months of each other. Uh, but okay. I, um, I, so I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay. All right. Cause yeah, I, you, you kind of went through that, um, the, the revelation, the life, life change, which for those of you who haven't at least tried NSNG, um, or a keto, a keto lifestyle, either, either one, they're, they're similar, but not the same. Um, highly recommend that you, you look into that. We have an article on our, uh, website called the best diet you've never heard of, which is kind of a, a little bit of an intro to some of that stuff. We have other, other links as well that you could check out on our website as far as, uh, fat, protein, carbs, how to learn to eat those and, and really to more to stay away from the carbs for the most part. Um, so let's, let's talk here about his, uh, Vin, the, the background of Mr. Vinny Tortorich. Um, I think that that is a, yeah, so, right. so I think I think he he has such an interesting story. He really does. No, he does. He does. And don't don't answer that. That's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So let, let let's talk a little bit about that. So go get us a little bit into Vinny Tortorich. So like I said, Vin- when when he was born, he's he just clicked over to uh, to fifty seven. So yeah, he he when he grew up um he was ripped right when he came out and he right. had everything was real smooth for him um no no he 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 started out at the bottom um got his got his ass kicked on a regular basis he he got beat up by nuns true true story right um and he went from that all the way up, you know, in, in New Orleans, um, all the way up through and, and Matt will kind of talk a little bit about kind of like where, you know, his, that process of him kind of like coming into his own, but he ended up, uh, as a strength and condi- conditioning coach for high school, branched out into personal training, um, ended up on, as a personal trainer slash radio host for a show called Talking Fitness was actually the top rated radio show in New Orleans at the time. Ended up moving to Beverly Hills to make it big and then became an elite fitness trainer for Hollywood, partially because of an appearance on the Oprah Winfrey show. And because he could get the results from people. He was one of these hidden trainers that all, like Hollywood producers all knew about because they would go and send their actors or actresses to him uh, to to do it. And he would do this NSNG craziness to people and then they would lose weight like like mad. So pretty cool but so let, let's talk about some of the table of contents what what we got what are some of the themes and i know jay was just saying of, as far as uh how he was uh, where he was brought up uh another quick thing uh his his parents were a sugar cane his family was sugar cane farmers so just really think that's a little interesting too right i didn't know that yeah. that's fascinating so a little little interesting there but you know but really he talks about at the beginning him growing up um, what he, you know, going to Catholic school, growing up, he was a skinny kid. Um, uh, he started playing football. Um, you know, he was, um, got into weight training, um, and, you know, really excelled in, uh, in football, um, growing up or going through, you know, say, you know, middle school, junior high and then high school. Um, he transitioned into personal training, uh, he also will talk about it, but he has a, a documentary that just came out too, where he, he actually shows a clip from the Oprah Winfrey show uh, with him being on there. But uh, he was on the Oprah Winfrey show. Um, he's became an ultra athlete. Um, he ran uh, the, so I thought it was the bad was, was bad water. Um, he, he, he's mostly been a, a cyclist. Like he's done some running, but like cycling just seems to cl- has clicked with him. Right. Uh, he, he did, he's done multiple, uh, really long distance, 12 and 24 hour, uh, mountain bike races. Um, even though he was passing out in the middle of them, right. which was, um, apparently, apparently unhealthy to do, yeah. <laughs> to be in the middle of a mountain bike race and, and to be knocked unconscious. But his big one was the Furnace Creek 508. That was kind of his albatross. Yeah. What, and, and so any of these two, these ultra athletes, it's a, it's a crazy thing. And then, then he talks about going, uh, battling leukemia, um, you know, and kind of becoming this. So really this, this book is sort of two parts. It's 
one part fitness, one part personal story. Um, and blending those together, it kind of reads as if it's two books, um, but in a cohesive manner. So it is uh, it is really good there. So l- let's talk a little bit here, Jay. Let's let's get into some of these questions here. So sure. uh, what do you like best about the book? Um, I like it, and, and reading back through it, prepping here for the bookcast, I love how entertaining <laughs> this book is. It makes me laugh. Like, you know, the book, uh, Tortorich just is, he's a funny guy. He's a, he's, he's a real straightforward guy. And I forgot, I haven't listened to the podcast very much. Um, and listening to this fat documentary, coming back into it, uh, I forgot how Italian he really is. <laughs> and like adding that Italian voice into the book itself, um, it makes a lot more sense. But like, for example, there's this one story that he tells about his first game as a seventh grader in JV football. And he's finally worked his way up. He's been, you know, pushed around and had his ass kicked all the way through up until seventh grade. Um, he finally starts working out with this uh, this guy, Joe Benadon, Belladonna. Um, and, and gets to the point where he can like kick a little bit of ass. And so he gets on the, on the, uh, football team, his first game, uh, people are cheering for him cause he's the seventh grader is the first seventh grader in history in the JV team guy takes a cheap shot at him from the other side. So he whips his helmet off and beats the shit out of the other guy with his helmet. <laughs> um, so his first game was his last game for, for a while, <laughs> but like, and he just likes telling stories like that. Um, so like it, you'll love it from that perspective alone, not including all the great health and fitness side of it. Yeah, no, that, that, that's it. And it's totally true. It, it's absolutely true. He does. His stories are great on here. So give, give me a, a quote, quote or two. What do you, what do you like from the book? Um, I have one, I, there's a, there's a number of them as I was reading back through, it's like screenshotting, like, Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I should remember <laughs> that one. But this one, this was the one that really grabbed me. And actually I want to put it up on my wall cause it's fantastic. Um, every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the fastest lion or it will be killed. Every morning a lion wakes up. It knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. It doesn't matter whether you are a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you'd better be running. (laughs) So everyone knows that if you've been in the running community or if you're exercising or if you're into motivation, you've heard that quote. This is what you haven't heard. This is what he adds. He says, this is true for lions and gazelles everywhere except in one place captivity they don't run because they don't have to their food is provided for them all they have to do is eat so they sit there lounging and grazing contentedly not realizing that the price they've paid for this easy living is that they're stuck in a cage until they die and we're the same way yeah so that one is like oh man but it's so true yeah it's so true we just sit and we eat and we drive and we eat and we sit some more and we eat some more and we don't move and we don't push ourselves and and we don't do what we're designed to do and then we're we've made this wonderful soft comfortable little cage Uh, well it's absolutely true i mean that's why you know and we've talked about this uh, plenty of times where we talk about you know getting back to sort of your your roots and that's really what he's saying there which is which is awesome so what did you learn from the book what you learn um i would say learned a, learned a number of things from the book um i would say the probably the thing that i learned that has changed me the most is that you can there's like always another part of you that you can kind of push to and one of the things that's probably the most inspiring to me about Tortorich is that he loves his clients as a personal trainer. Um, a lot of the personal trainers that, that I've known over the years are, you know, they're, they seem to be like pretty into fitness and they like working with people, but they don't necessarily have this like passion and love to take care of the other person's body and to help lift them up as a massage therapist. Um, not everybody has that same level of passion that they're taking care of people. So I really enjoy this idea that a personal trainer out there, that somebody who's like just a meathead in the gym, you know, throwing, slinging weight around is actually really invested and emotionally cares about trying to get you into the best shape of your life so that you can have the best life possible. Um, that's, that's just wonderful. And this is the first time I've ever really got a chance to dig into a personal trainer's brain. So I really enjoyed that. Awesome. 
Well, um, well then, flip side of that, what do you like least? Uh, too short. <laughs> it's too short. Keep going. I want another book. Um, I want I want more more stories. Um, I, I want him to do more cool stuff. It's I, he's so entertaining and enjoyable. So Why, a second book. I will say book, he, he's got a he's got a podcast. Great great to listen to, and we'll we'll link to his podcast on here too, which is awesome. Um, so what about um, what uh, what questions would you like to ask the author? Oh, uh, lots, lots of questions. Well, give, but me, give me one. Give me one. What the 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 big one would be is based on conversation you and I had, Matt. Um, you mentioned that he would occasionally use olive oil mm-hmm. as a as a fuel source for his long rides. Yep. Um, I, my question would be, what the hell do you eat when you're out on a bike for 18 hours? Like, what do you, you know, you specifically with your NSNG and your olive oil shoot shots? Like, what do you is what do you eat? Like, I'm fascinated by that. That's oh, good. Um, any other related books? Uh, but obviously you gotta, we gotta include, uh, why we get fat and what to do about it, uh, by Gary Tobbs, or if you're, if you're feeling hardcore, good calories, bad calories by, by Tobbs. Um, and then Vinnie Tortorich wrote a book called Monty. It's a kid's <laughs> book, um, that I think is available for $50 on eBay. If you can find it, um, I, I think you should check that one out too, because, uh, you know, it'd probably be interesting. Matt. Let's let's uh, let's turn the tables here. All right. Uh, let me let me give you a chance to answer some questions about a, one of the one of the books that seems to really resonate with you. What did you like best about this book? Well, I like it because this was the first like fitness nutrition book that I really got into. Where it was just no, this is this is something that makes a lot of sense. This is somebody who has. Uh, you know, walk the walk for a long time, has a long history of helping people in a permanent way. Um, not, not some of these things where it's even, and, you know, even we have talked about this, where we talk about um, uh, one of the things we look at is PSMF, protein, spar- protein sparing modified fast. We're like, okay, well, that's cool. It's not a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. This is something that you can stick to and go go with for as long as you want to so it it's it's great i like that and i love his just you his personality resonates through it even when you're reading it you're just like yeah no i i get you i get you on this so it's uh it's really cool he you don't get a sense that he has yeah, well, I mean, he says it multiple times. I don't have an agenda here. My only agenda is to help you get back your good intentions, right? Right, uh, exactly. And his his agenda is uh, is sharing the information. He's not like, okay, great, NSNG is wonderful. Let's uh, you know buy, all my buy crap. something buy all and my then crap. now, uh, and then yeah, and then now we can uh, you know learn. You know, now you can learn all about it if you you know send me nine ninety five a month kind of thing. So that's, that's, that's cool. I, I really enjoy that about him. Uh, give me a, give me a quote or two. Uh, one of my favorites on here and it, it is great. It's uh exercise is a great leveler. It doesn't matter how rich you are. You can't just buy your way into a great body. You have to do the work. I find that comforting. It's one of the few things in life where we're all on a level playing field. Hmm. That's that's awesome because you're right. You look around in Hollywood and you can't you can't purchase muscles, right? As much as they want to, uh, yeah. even and and he would say this even though you go well. There's just some you know gifted people or or they've hit the genetic lottery or something. It's like not if they have. So look at the Rock. Maybe you'd say that he's got some genetic uh, predisposition in there, uh, but then go and check out his workout routine and you go. Uh, no, no, no. I'm I'm sure that uh, that's all because of him. Because um, you you're he he hits it hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. The, yes, quite a bit. Yes, and and the, and that's what it is. You got to put in the work. I love it. Uh, what did you learn from this book, uh, and or how did the book change you? Oh, completely changed my paradigm. To answer your question earlier that I couldn't recall, I read this. Uh, I bought this book uh, September 29, uh, 2015. So call it four years ago, just about, right? Um, Mm. And uh, 
two weeks later, three weeks later, I bought uh, Good Calories, Bad Calories and started going okay. through that. So completely changed my paradigm on how food and the relationship with food um, completely. I mean, it, it's a totally different mindset that I have now versus prior to reading this book. Wow. It led wow. me, it so, literally led me down the rabbit hole. Wow. Well, so there you go. Um, if you're, if you're listening to this and you want to, you want to lose weight and, and get healthier, one single book can, can cha- can start changing that process for you. What'd you like least? Uh, so I'm, I'm with you. It's short. Um, and I, I mean, I think part of that is because of it, how simple NSNG really is. I mean, you could just go, don't read the book, just eat NSNG. Well, you wouldn't be entertained, but, you know, I mean, it's, it is kind of true. Um, more stories would have been, would have been good. Um, but I, I guess that's what I would say. Although I do have his, uh, his um, podcast to fall back on. He's got, I mean, He's way more involved than we are. Uh, I think he's got, you know, over a thousand episodes of his podcast. So, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, So, so many. All right. So a basic, a basic critique is that you just need more. (laughs) Right. Uh, Yeah. Uh, What about what questions would you ask uh, Vinny? So he's in in, I'm I'm at a disadvantage uh, for this because I, I don't have a lot that I would ask him based on I'm an I'm an avid listener to his podcast. Uh, The fitness confidential is his, what his podcast is called. So I hear a lot of his answers for this, uh, many, many times. So, uh, I, I don't have a ton really, uh, to, to ask him. Okay. Well, there's with, with over a thousand, I think it's like close to 1400 episodes. Yeah, um, yeah. you probably, you probably would get a pretty good sense of, uh, of all that stuff. All right. So any other related connected books or material you'd recommend? Oh, good Lord. Yeah. So good calories, bad calories, uh, why we get fat and what to do about it. Um, oh, um, another one is, uh, eat healthy. Um, and that is a cookbook. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I, or eat happy, pardon me, eat happy is what it's called. Um, and that it just popped into my head as we are doing this is by his co-host actually, who he converted to NSNG. Um, Anna Vocino is her name. Eat happy okay. by Anna Vocino. If you want a how to, to eat NSNG, there you go. Okay. All right. Eat happy. All right, that sounds that sounds good. Um, Matt, any any final thoughts here as we uh, kind of wrap the show up? So, I the the main thing is is to keep an open mind when you're looking at things. Don't um, and if you really want to dive into it, um, as far as finding out uh, m- more about really the the science would be good calories, bad calories. Uh, but that is that's a commitment to read it or listen to it, but the keep, keep an open mind when you're looking at this, you know, maybe your, your government, uh, suggestions aren't the best. So that, that would be my, my main thing. All right. Well, the book is fitness confidential adventures in the weight loss game by Vinnie Tortorich and Dean Laurie. Incredible book, uh, life changing, and we can't say that about very many books, but this one qualifies. So make sure to check it out. We have links here in the show notes there. You can pick it up. And thanks again for listening, guys, and we will talk to you soon. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads lives only one. Thank you for listening to the Superior Man Bookcast. Share it with a friend. You heard our thoughts. Go read it for yourself.